one else I wanted to mention was this courtesy of RA. I've not really heard of this festival um, until I kind of saw it on RA and I saw it, I think, featured as well. Someone was speaking about it on the Berghain subreddit earlier. And it looks interesting, man. I may have to go, especially considering I was talking before on the podcast that I need to find some new interesting places to go to outside of going to the usual Berlin, especially I want to get back onto my actual techno tourism tilt that I was doing before, but I got caught in a bit of a rut and I got a bit comfortable of going to Berlin because I kind of know the scene there. I know the clubs and, you know, I know how to kind of, you know, navigate and sort of do my thing. And it's a kind of an easy option to go to and it's fairly cheap. But nowadays it's not as cheap as it once was, especially with Brexit and just the economy being the way it is. It's not that, it's not that cheap as it should be. So I'm looking for other options. So one option would be to consider going to the Netherlands and to go to this festival, which is called, um, how do you pronounce that? Dry Molen, Dry Molen, Dry Molen Festival, right? Dry, Tilburg Dry Molen Festival. And this is a really interesting festival, in my opinion, because there's loads of back-to-backs. I'm sure that's their theme of what they do. But instead, instead of just booking singular people to kind of DJ and do their thing, they kind of do them in terms of back-to-backs, which must be a booking and scheduling horror because a lot of these people are probably on different labels, sorry, on different booking agencies and shit. And I don't know how it is. Maybe the business of booking DJs, you have to have certain people play on certain nights. You've done certain booking agency lists. I don't know. I'd imagine the the just the data, you know, the running of this and putting it together must be difficult. Maybe it's not. I don't really know. But regardless, the, the way that they programmed it, it really kind of piqued my interest. So it's courtesy of RA. It says, um, Tilburg's Dre Molin Festival books Skrillex back to back with Blauan for two, two, for 2023 festival. Imagine that Skrillex back to back with Blauan. How weird that will sound. Like they have the most op- opposing sounds, I feel like, unless you're thinking of Blauan or more of a drum and bass type of, of things. But I'm interested to hear that. It says here, Dutch festival Dre Dre Molen Dry Molen. No, how you pronounce it? Has revealed this year's lineup. The program will be spread across six stages, hosted by the likes of Job Dress's Party, um, Strange Love, Eris Dew and Octa Octas, which I'm a big fan of. Forest Rave, Blauen and Parry are taking over the pit, and Nenny H will host the tunnel. The lineup is heavy on back to backs, including Blauen, Skrillex, Jazz, and whatever else. Other highlights include Techno Act, Sandwall District, DJ Lag more Elian, Faf, Amelia and a few others but again let's look at the back-to-back listing this is the one that's really kind of got me interested I'm actually going to put it on my list here as interested because I fucking am so look at the back-to-backs they got here playing at this festival right they got Agina playing back-to-back with OK Williams which is fucking for me sonically perfect Aku back-to-back with Luke Slater Anita back-to-back with Mama Snake Anita like that's gonna be fucking incredible that's going to absolutely like be bopping. That's going to be real fun. Angel Delight and back to back with Ketia. Um, uh, who else you got here? You got Benny Rodriguez back to back with Job Joes. That's going to be so cool. Two Dutch dudes play the similar type of music, different types of way. You know, both good vibes, always smiling, always dancing behind it. That's going to be so fun to watch just as a spectator. So that's I'm a big fan of. Blau and Skrillex just for the lols will be cool to check out, even though I'm not the biggest Skrillex fan. Um, Core Super and Pariah again is perfect, I feel like. Chucky back to back with uh, Shroomman, I'm not too familiar with them. Darwin back to back with Manor is obviously f- good. Deep Bridge back to back with Ehu, I'm not really too fond of, or not too familiar with, sorry. Um, this is one of my favorites here DJ Python back to back with Up Sunny. That is going to be really, really, really fun. Double O back to back with Martha. Eris Jew back to back with a Helena Half. Like, I'm on it. I'm definitely on it. This is definitely my lick of things. And the thing, what makes this interesting also is in September. So there's plenty of time to flip in, save up the coins and to kind of go. But I'm definitely looking at this and thinking, you know what? I'm all over this. This list is looking great. You got Jess back to back with Talia here. Kiki back to back with a special guest. Like, there's just too many good people here. Way too many amazing people playing. And it definitely is up my alley. So if you're in Dutch, if you're in Holland, or if you're around this place in, what's it called, Tilburg in Holland, and you happen to see me throwing shapes, um, say hi, because I'm definitely going to be there. No doubt about it. It doesn't say the ticket price or anything, in it? 
I don't think we're going to know about tickets just yet. The lineup is there. No info on tickets. It doesn't look like update. Okay, ticket cost is 70 euros. Come on, brah. 70 euros for this is really, really cheap, in my opinion, considering um, all of the people that are there playing. And again, like I just said, just the programming alone has really got me, in, you know, it's kind of piqued my interest. The idea that they've got all these back-to-backs programmed as opposed to just having loads of users playing by themselves is going to create a really cool energy. It could go two ways. If you don't know the person too tough and it's just like a back-to-back you've just been booked on, it can be a bit naff. But I also think the challenge of it will be interesting enough. But yeah, so far, regular tickets are sold out. Not for shuttle service, but the tickets are still available for the weekend. Um, they are currently... For the weekend, 115 euros plus 390 booking fee. Friday day tickets are 54 euros. Oh no, I guess 50, 59, 60. And then Saturday, the same 74, around a bit up more than that. And then you've also got camping tickets and shit. And then the one above that is what? Shuttle service, right? Shuttle service from Tilburg Station going there back and forth. So it looks like a pretty cost effective festival in terms of what I want to do. So I'm definitely looking at that. And that definitely is on my list. I might actually re replace that to go. I might actually go to this instead of going to Houghton. That's how interested I am in it. And I only just found out about this the other day. So I'm definitely on it. So big up Dre Molin Festival. And what I might do actually when I do go out there is actually take my camera and actually create some content, like actually record my time out there, um, the vibes and whatnot, and actually make that a bit of an experience as opposed to just going there and getting fucked up. I think I might, I might do that and actually, you know, put some of that stuff together, edit it and upload it onto YouTube. Because it's been a lot of stuff. I've actually vlogged and done that stuff. I used to do that quite often before, but I kind of been slacking and just haven't been in the mood. But I think that'd be a good option to kind of go about doing stuff like that going forward. So yeah, watch out Holland, watch out Tilburg. I'm coming for you, brother. I'm coming for you. I'm actually curious to see what does actually Tilburg in the Netherlands look like as a place? What does it look like? Tilburg, Netherlands. I've never, I, I don't even know what that is on a map. I'm not going to lie. I know of Amsterdam, but I don't know of Tilburg. Is it, how far is that outside? Is it outside of the city? I'm assuming it is, right? I'm clicking on a map of um, Tilburg here on Google and it's showing me that Tilburg, yeah, Tilburg is just outside of, or it's not just outside, it's, it's on the outskirts basically of Holland, it looks like. you got Amsterdam right there in the centre, and then you've got Tilburg, which is on the border of Belgium. So it's pretty, pretty far, <laughs> to be honest. So most likely I'm going to have to fly into Amsterdam and then get a coach all the way to Tilburg and then get another coach to the Flipping Festival location. It's going to be a bit of a mad one. Or have to fly into some of these other locations that are closer, like Eidenhoven, maybe Rotterdam, maybe Dor Dor Drench, what's that? How, you, how you pronounce that word there, Europort, The Hague is a bit too far, but these might be some places to go on. So yeah, let's see, man. Techno Tourism, Netherlands, I'm coming for you. Netherlands, I'm coming for you.